Spurs are on their way to Wembley. Tottenham's gone and done it again. Dom, come on. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Sports Bar. Good evening, Darren Ambrose. Spurs yes. supporting Darren Ambrose. Yes. Gaza, I'm, I'm, look, I've got to ask. I'm duty bound to ask, how are you? But I know how you are. But I'll ask anyway. Yeah, how I was we? better how before how the end of the game. It does. Does it? It's only football. It's, it's move on. No, it's not. It's more than football. It's more than football. We we know this. What? Do I, I, you know what? Turn turn it off. I don't. No, I, don't I don't want to talk about the game yet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. You can't say that. And in fact, we can have the violin over this. I just want to say what a remarkable job you done last night. Oh, oh. I was covering the game. Oh, it's turn the violin off. Turn it off. I was covering Man United's game. Yes. Um, last night, and I was listening to it all the way home. All right. Okay. I'm waiting for Dino's voice. Oh yeah, poor old, poor old. Where's Dino? <laughs> Jason, Jason, Jason talking over everyone as usual. Where's Where's Dino's voice? Come on. Then I realised you're on your own. I was on my own. Mate. What a great job you've done. Yeah, three hours. Yeah, it's fine. Although yeah. I've I've complimented you there. You didn't do much. Do you know what? Had a lot of uh, help. I have to say the guys behind the glass, Billy, Alex, and Jack, superb. I could have done with that. Though. Absolutely brilliant, and it was a, it was a thoroughly enjoyable show well, with your five kind, or six so. uh, co-hosts. So yes, that what, came yeah, on. for those that don't know, so Dean Saunders was ill last night, and a lot of, a lot of the guys said, "If you want to present the show with me, phone up," and they did. There were some brilliant, brilliant uh, potential uh, radio presenters was, out there. I was nervous, to be honest. I thought uh, I was going to get a call today saying you're not, you're not needed. Jace can do it on his own. Uh, and to be honest, I'd have probably preferred that. I'm just, <laughs> yes, see, listen, I'm just let's, fluffing let's, at the moment. I, I don't to want to tonight. talk about let's the see. game. Look, I know how you are, right? Yeah. I mean, look, look, Jen, you're, you're okay. Let's move yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So listen, I've sat in that chair and this one many times when Chelsea have been a dreadful disgrace. Right? Yeah. I've, I've, we've all been there as football fans. It's hard, yeah. right? But try and remember, it's all about the show. Yeah. What makes the show better? Spurs... Have outspursied themselves. Mm. That's saying something. That's horrible. That's that that takes I, some doing. You know how hurtful that saying is, Spursy. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. It's horrible. I what, understand what it? it. What is I it? I understand it. What is it about the saying? It's it's I don't know who coined that phrase. Because but, whenever yeah. anyone else have like last season, yeah. Arsenal obviously Spurs pipped them to yeah. the fourth spot. Yeah. People said they they were Spursy. Yeah. It's like no, think of other words. No, there's no other word. No. And it will come back no matter what, no matter what happens. You could yep. win the league, you could win the FA Cups. Eventually, it comes back, Spursy. I understand it. I understand it. And I've said for many years, uh, many years, uh, for many months, the start of this season, uh, and people were phoning up saying, I hate the style of play of mm. Spurs. Mm. And, and, I, and I said, but we're winning. We're winning games. <laughs> so until we stop winning games, stop calling but up, you know stop what? moaning. But do you know what? That's always the case. Yep. It, it's substance over style. So Guardiola there being, you could tell that he was, he's happy, but at the same time, disappointed and a little bit frustrated. That's not the interview of a manager that's just won a game comfortably for two, because it wasn't. 2 0 down at half time. I, Daz, I would love to know what I'd love to be frying that wall in the dressing room mm. because they, they the two goals they conceded. I mean, Rodri for the second goal, I've yep. got that's that's really bad. If that's bad yep. to be beat, Kane wanted the ball more, but they weren't brilliant. City they control the game, but Spurs. Yeah, that was kind of what the Spurs do, isn't it? They sit, they try and they wait on moments, and those mm. moments of time, I don't think they quite believe their luck that they were two 0 up at half time. They, they didn't you know, Spurs, to be two weren't, Spurs weren't two goals no. better after at no. half time, but something changed. And and you know, you could hear in Pep's interview and his voice and his, and his tone that yes, he's happy, of course, but there's a lot of answers there. He's, I, I, I still think he'll be incredibly annoyed about what he saw in that opening 45 because it's not all games you'll be able to do that you can't do that in every game if you do that against Arsenal yep. you don't come away with the points Arsenal betting the Spurs yep. I was just going to say know, that there's, there's other I was going to say there. that if you go you go in at half time 2 nil down against Arsenal yeah. you're not winning that game no you're not, no, you're, not. You're, you're lucky to get a draw out mm -hmm. of that game mm -hmm. now we sat in the in the green room watching the game Spurs didn't deserve won a 2 nil game at, uh, at half time it, it, they didn't deserve to be 2 nil up mm. And I, I said, Spurs will lose this. 5-2, I called it. <laughs> That's how confident, or lack of confident I had. I've backed Conte many, many times. Many times. From callers, oh, on the boot room. Are you, are you, he's, the worm, he's breaking me. Has the worm he's, turned? He's broken me, I think. The worm has turned? I think, I, think he's, I think he's given up. I think he's given up on the board. I think he's given up on the, the certain amount of players. You go 3-2 down, you, you, you take... What were you taking off? Pulisic and putting on... Sessignon. Sessignon. Mm. 
Well, that's not a substitution to try and get back in the game. I think he's he's won. I, I'm, I'm looking but, forward but, to okay, hearing his interview because okay, he, the lines he, in he makes excuses. Okay, but well, listen. He's you broken bro me, Jason. Yeah, but you break managers. It's what you do at Spurs. You break <laughs> them. You ruin them. So we you are, bury are, them. We are a graveyard for managers. You are a graveyard for managers. You do it. Jose Mourinho, the only team in his managerial career to go and manage and not win a trophy. Yeah, Spurs. but come on. Yeah. No, but come on. There's a... Come this, on. this is where the word Spursy comes from. It is. And this is why I understand it. Conte's a brilliant a, manager. You hire a manager in Jose Mourinho to win a trophy, one of the best managers to win a trophy... He gets you to the final. You sack him five days before the final, yeah. and you hire Ryan Mason. Yeah, now you break. That's what you do. What is going on at well, this football club? I have no idea. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Let, look, there's there's loads of City fans, loads of Spurs fans. If you're an Arsenal fan, I'd love to hear from you as well because mixed emotions. You want Spurs to get beaten, but you also want them to win. So, and what was it like at two two? You think where do you want to go with this? Where, who do you want to win? They didn't want them to get beaten. They wanted Spurs to win. All the Arsenal supporters in the office wanted isn't Spurs. That, I'm out in them. They that, wanted Spurs isn't that to a win. Weird scenario, isn't that so, so the strange? The miserable look and on their I, faces I know, when we went in. But at the weekend, losing. Manchester City fans want Ars and want, yeah, want Arsenal. Yeah. Didn't they? No, uh, they, they, I'm sorry, they want Manchester United yeah. to beat Arsenal. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a weird world we live it's in. It's early days. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.